Um, where is Mr. Belisari? Okay. Okay. This is the time we have set for a young hearing. Are there any stipulations? Okay. Pardon? Yeah, oh yeah, you need to go. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, we need Marissa. Yeah. Just in case. And all those people are muted on They're muted. Yep. Uh, yeah. I mean, she's from the public defender's office. Miss Cleveland, is that why you're here? Are you staying because you're with the PD's office, or now that Marissa's here, you're going to? Yeah, the quarters here now. Okay. All right. And I am having someone here from the public defender's office because the motion requests that the public defender's office be appointed. Um, okay. All right. Um, Mr. Belisario, I'm going to have you sworn in. Alex here, just like before, with these young hearings, there's a portion of the hearing that is confidential, and that is because that portion involves attorney-client communications. This is completely normal. Uh, it's so confidential that even the uh, prosecution, even the attorneys for the prosecution are removed from the courtroom. This is, I don't know how many times this has happened in this case, <sighs> maybe five, maybe six times. And there is something that occurred this time that is pretty disappointing. District Court Judge Crystal Eller, for whatever reason, decided not to allow the release of this jazz. We had to get an attorney involved. It took us three months to get it. She used the same excuse as uh, District Court Judge Ron Israel, which was total nonsense. As you can see, we still have access to the jazz video. She probably was hoping that we wouldn't be able to get some assistance on this and that we would just go away, which is not the Art Nevada judge's way. Um, I really think that when it comes to these situations, what the judges are trying to do when they improperly thwart media coverage is they're just trying to get less people to watch the video. That's also one of the reasons why the quality of this video is so low because we had to fall back to jabs because she wouldn't allow it to be covered uh, through zoom or through the camera uh, lens of a camera anyway we did at least get this footage and as you can tell we have published it the fact that the original plea was with private counsel and there's no uh it wasn't with the public defender's office as his counsel there's no conflict of interest there's no reason uh that i can um, disqualify the public defender's office under NRS 7.115 and therefore I am appointing the public defender's office because they're not disqualified and this will be for uh, the limited well two purposes one to evaluate whether or not it is legally feasible and advisable to file a motion to withdraw Mr. Belisario's plea and then if that is not the case or if the motion is filed and denied to represent him during the sentencing in this case, okay? Yes, Your Honor. Can I ask one more thing? Mm -hmm. So they said that they worked down with the county that they shouldn't be doing this or whatever. Can I get that? Whatever they have the right in saying that? Because I asked the force that was a policy to have is unwritten. So can they provide that? Because this was months, 15 months ago when you appointed a appointed council, that's what they said. Right. Uh, I'm not going to order that. Okay. It's not in front of me, and I don't think I have the jurisdiction to do that. So uh, you're getting the public defender's office. And again, it's um, based on the statute that you cited, the NRS 7115, that I can, there was no legal reason for me to disqualify them, and therefore I'm appointing them. How much time do you think you need to review everything? Um, it sounds like there are approximately five to seven attorneys that need to speak with to gather the information, including Mr. Belisario. So I would ask for three weeks to a month to do okay. that. Uh, all right. And Mr. Sheets, will you forward all of the documents you have? over to the public defender's office? Yes, I just need them a CD with, with a bunch of stuff. I will forward them a drop box. Okay, all right. So within, say, 48 hours, make sure they have everything that you have. Yes, sir. Okay. And then um, they're also going to talk to your former attorneys. They're going to gather any records, if there are any missing records that Mr. Sheets doesn't have. Okay, they're going to sit down and meet with you. You have to behave respectfully, okay? All right. Um, and we'll set a status check 
for whether or not there's going to be a motion withdrawal. We'll set that in 30 days, which is? That'll be February 13th at 10 a.m. Okay, and at that point, if there's going to be a motion withdrawal, we'll set a briefing schedule. Okay? Thank you. All right, thank you.